that down, guys. Let's get things started with this, shall we? <laughs> One of my most anticipated movies of the year. I don't care what anybody <laughs> else said or thought was Venom 3. Venom, Woo! The Last Dance. I love the Venom films. I mean, I particularly <laughs> love the first one. I still like the second one, just not as much, but I still liked it. And I was really looking forward to yesterday going in, seeing Venom 3. The initial reactions were really good. The follow-up full reviews, not so good. But that's fine. The full reviews weren't all that good for Venom 1, and I loved Venom 1. So, And I thought the trailers had been great. Andy Serkis is null. Going on into the theaters to see it. <laughs> movie sucks. Oh. The movie's quite bad. Um, I was so disappointed in the movie. Now, look, before I go into the stuff I didn't like, let me mention the things that I did like. The dynamic between Venom and Eddie is the basis and backbone of the whole franchise. I adore, and it's really kind of the tipping point as to whether or not you'll like the Venom movies. If you like the dynamic between Eddie and Venom in the movies, the movies will work for you. If you don't like the dynamic between them, the movies aren't going to be for you. And the dynamic, the back and forth, the banter between Venom and Eddie, again, were really quite good and quite enjoyable. And I really like the characters. I like them a lot. And that was a highlight for me. Second thing that I really liked, uh, I, I quite like the third act. The third act of the film when things actually start happening um, and start getting into motion. In the uh, There's a big set piece action sequence um, that happens in the third act that's really visually good. By the way, I think the visual effects in it were really quite good. So I want to give it its flowers for that. But the problem is I was pretty much checked out of the movie by the time we got to the third act. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. By the time the third act happened, while the, the action was great and all that kind of stuff, I just like, but it's too late. Like, this is already a bad movie. Um, they introduce a lot of concepts that made no sense whatsoever. I'm going to throw out a word for you. Those of you who've seen the movie, you'll know what it means. For those of you who haven't seen the movie, you won't know what it means, so it's not really spoiling anything. But the codex made absolutely no logical sense about what, first of all, what makes a codex was ridiculous. And then if that's how a codex is made, shouldn't there be like a thousand codexes out there? And then, wait a minute, why can they only see the codex when such and such? I mean, it made no logical sense. Then they did a whole bunch of other things in Area 51 that made no sense. Like, it just didn't even follow its own logic. I don't mind it when a sci-fi, fantasy, comic booky film doesn't follow the rules of real-world logic. That's fine. Just follow your own logic that you've created in your movie. And it didn't, and it was so frustrating. Mm. And then, like, there's there's a scene that's in one of the trailers where you see Eddie's in, a, a like, a little van with a family, like a hippie family. That scene is, like, 15 minutes and so boring. And then Mrs. Chen. You know, you see her in the trailers, right? There's no point to Mrs. Chen in the movie. <laughs> it literally shows up, sees Eddie. Ah, hey, let's go back to my hotel room and dance. And they go, because there's a shot of that in the trailer, in one of the trailers too. And then that's it. And then she's not in the movie. It had nothing to do with anything. And I'm just like, like, uh, you can ask Anne the next time she does something on the show. Most of the movie, I was like this. I, yeah. I mean, I, I, I feel like they took the weaker parts of the first two movies and leaned into those instead of taking the stronger elements of the first two movies and leaning into that. Again, nice action sequence in the third act. Thumbs up for that. The dynamic between Eddie and, and Venom, again, thumbs up for that. But I would say a pretty dissatisfying movie overall. A pretty dissatisfying ending ending. And then the end credits were really kind of pointless. The end credits really didn't do much. Like I, I read somebody say, oh, the mid credit scene is essential. No, it wasn't. I, I, I didn't feel like I knew anything else. Just... 
when you go see Venom, feel free to leave as soon as the credits start. Guys, we want to take a second thank a sponsor of today's video, Dollar Shave Club. Hello there, my fellow handsome gentlemen. Nice face you shaved there. Whether you're going smooth shaven or maintaining a beard, Dollar Shave Club offers shave and grooming products that are always high quality, but never overpriced. If you like to wet shave for that clean, close shave, they've got the Club Series 6 Blade Razor, a shave so comfy your skin will take a nap. Six stainless steel blades for our closest and most comfortable comfortable shave with a vitamin E infused lubricant strip for comfort and glide and precision trimmer for precise detailing. Their amazing shave butter, clear view, smooth glide designed for precision. Shave butter is a translucent shaving cream alternative that allows you to see exactly where you're shaving. Bonus, it has long lasting lubrication that helps soften whiskers for maximum glide and leaves your skin feeling hydrated. But don't take our word for it. Try it for yourself. You can visit their site right now for 20% off, $20 or more, and get your products delivered right to your door. Visit dollarshaveclub.com slash campia and use promo code campia for 20% off, $20 or more. And remember, however you shave, Dollar Shave Club is here to help you stay handsome. Uh, okay. The, the director or someone said that there was uh, supposed to be more of this villain. Do you actually see that actually going through after watching this movie yeah i'm thinking that too because they're like this is going to be a launch pad yeah so <laughs> i'll tell you this so the director of the film what ray's referencing is had come out recently we talked about it on the show saying uh-uh null's not a one and done villain yeah he is this is just start the start for null this is just the launch pad for null misfire oh Aww. I, I, Null literally has one line in the movie. What? Yeah. And you never see his face. What? <laughs> what? Boom. Really? So I mean, literally has one. He's got about 30 seconds of screen time total. I thought that was the main villain in this. <laughs> and he well, says, I, mean, I am Null. He's the main villain in the same kind of way that Unicron was the main villain oh. in Transformers Beast Wars. Like, he's out there. Yeah, That's the okay. ultimate looming threat. That's what they're trying to stop. Sure. Um, oh. But, yeah, I mean, and, like, no no mention of Michelle Williams' character. Like, not even a mention of her. Damn. Wow. Like, it's it's like she never existed. Um, and then... Well, it'd be like that sometimes with your exes, you know? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. like, it's better to write them off, delete them off social media, <laughs> yeah. all that kind of stuff. I just, it was a very, very disappointing thing for me because I, you know me, even though the critics have not liked the other Venom films, I am very pro the other Venom films. But And all the people say, if you like the other Venom movies, you'll like this one. No, no, oh. that's not necessarily true. Maybe you will. Maybe you will. But it's, it, you can't definitively say if you like the other Venom movies, you will like this one because I love the other Venom movies and I did not like this one. Maybe it takes a second viewing. Maybe, Maybe just it takes see a third viewing. Yeah. You should go four times. Maybe I should go more times. <laughs> yeah. Just to appreciate it. Just, you know, a little bit more. <laughs> By the way, the casino scene that's in the trailers, uh -huh. wonderful scene. Oh, oh yeah. that's good. Wonderful. The, the full version of the scene, mm -hmm. wonderful scene. It's okay. all wonderful when you add slot machines. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, I need more money. <laughs> um, it, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful scene. Um, the Juno Temple character made no sense. Oh. And it, she was walking exposition. Like, they set up this backstory to her that was literally meaningless. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this part. I'm going to tell you this part of the movie, okay? Because it, it's just all in the beginning. It sets something up, but it literally goes nowhere. Okay. She, uh, her, her and her little brother, her little brother dreamed of being a scientist. And when they were young, lightning struck her as she was holding hands with her brother, and it ended up killing her little brother. Mm. And it sets up this big story. Mm, meant nothing. I, I kept waiting for for this to have some kind of relevance. Yeah. And then, like, all the time, whenever she's talking to Chiwetel Ejiofor, who is one of my favorite actors in the world, Chiwetel Ejiofor, every time her and Chiwetel Ejiofor were together, it was such bad writing because it was all blatant exposition. Wow, we've been here in this space for this many years doing this kind of work. It's such a shame that it's coming to an end now, but our work of doing this, like, it's so... Like, good writing <laughs> communicates to the audience with subtlety. It, like, you pick up on it. You figure it out. But, like, it was all, like, they might as well have turned to the camera and go, 
ladies and gentlemen, what's happening here is this. And it was, uh, <laughs> it's like Twilight Zone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what I may mean, seem to be a regular scientific lab is more. Uh, than <laughs> I, I tell you, man, it's a disappointment. Mm -hmm. Again, there are things to like in it. Um, and I am not going to say it's going to be one of the worst movies. I don't think it's one of the worst movies of the year. I just mm -hmm. think it's a bad movie. How does this going forward? I mean, how is this going to continue to affect Sony? Because I don't think it's going to be a big box office. And then there's just Craven. Yeah, word of mouth is going to get out about this, and it, it's not going to be good. Mm -hmm. And it raises the question again when when the director said, this is just the start for Null. Wh what do you do? Venom's gone. Wh like, what do you do with Null? Tom Hardy said they're, he's done. Him and the big guy are done. So, at, like, what? Is Madam Web going to come back and fight him? Null versus it, the Celestials. Is Morbius? There are no Celestials, though. That's the problem. Oh, there you go. Is is Craven going to be set up now? Is the end of Craven going to have a Null post credit scene? So it's going to be Craven the Hunter versus Null. I, I just, I mean, I just don't know where they're going to go with this. Um. So, anyway, yeah, mark this down as one of my more disappointing trips to the to the movies this year because I was such really a quite shame. excited. Yeah. yeah you were about I this. was so pumped for this movie and um again doesn't suck. I don't think everybody's gonna hate it. Yeah. yeah. Um it's not Joker bad, it's not Madam Web bad, Sweet. it's it's got things going for it. I, I just unfortunately so for it's me, Logan good. I was just about to say, I was like, <laughs> is this stupid fun? Because I think this I just think fell this into that crevice that is Logan of Logan going, perfection. I had a good time. Yeah, oh, I, I had a nice time and I ate a snack. <laughs> Reese Fons is in this movie. Okay. And Love Every him. moment, I'm just, why? Why? Why did you go from House of the Dragon to this? How can you go from Emmy-level stuff to this? I, anyway. Boo. Yeah, so, um, again, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys not to go see it because, I, again, for me, the negatives outweigh the positive. For you, maybe those positives will outweigh the negatives for you, and, and you'll end up enjoying it. And it, it's going to be... Your mileage may vary. All I can tell you is that for me, as somebody who really liked the other films and was quite excited for this, this one didn't work, unfortunately. So mm. anyway, guys, question is for you. What did you think? Did you have a chance to go out and see Venom The Last Dance so far? If so, what did you think? If not, where's your expectation level like right now? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campion Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.